Hello, hi. Cosmic karma and healing it. You're not going to be able to do it in a fourth dimensional way. So this video is for everyone because everyone has some level of cosmic karma. How do you know? Number one, your family. Number two, root chakra issues. Number three, you're here to heal it. Okay, meaning you were born and you're right here on planet Earth to do it. Hi, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel where we talk about twin flames, twin flame stuff, ascension, twin flame ascension. And we're going to get into some things that this is not really science fiction. This is a bit of history, backstory, and future of how you're going to do this. So what are some of the healing centers here, right here in our solar system? Now, some people have a vague recollection of things. Sometimes they write it down and people think it's science fiction, but there's little kernels of truth within there. We don't want to get all sci-fi. We don't want to get all astrological or even astronomical. This is a part of astronomy. People use this also in things like birth charts, natal positioning but let's put it this way if you have the earth spinning and you're intended to incarnate you're going to incarnate that's going to be whatever your zodiac sign is whatever influences but all of those influences and factors and characteristics are things that are to better you and promote your healing you may think of them as personality characteristics but they go deeper than that and some of it in there is clues for you, but not everyone picks up on it because they try to intellectualize this. And this is about love. This is about getting where you're going and getting back together and really merging together and having healed areas, not only within you and the elemental. The elemental has a correspondence to the star seed and the stardust. We have stardust right here on our planet. Okay. Comes to earth. There's asteroids, there's meteors, there's things that just fall to earth. That's a part of it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is solar flares and how they're affecting the earth. Now they do not have much effect on me. And the reason is, is because I have already ascended in my light body while it's not immune to it. I don't feel it the same way other people feel it. Some people really feel it. The solar flares are nudging people. They're, there's like a nudge during these solar flares to get healed about something, okay? Or to start it up in a passive way. It's like putting some momentum behind it. So these are some levels of healing. A lot of people hear about Chiron. Chiron is one of Jupiter's moons. Jupiter distinctly is for balancing electric masculine and divine feminine energy. Okay. Some of this is streaming off. People feel this. We're in some energy right now that's still going to have aspects of a Venus retrograde, like homes, houses, love life, career, money, 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 homes, homes, homes. This is a big ticket item for a lot of people. Chiron is for emotional and mental wound, wounding and patterns. Now, that doesn't mean everyone's been to Chiron, believe it or not. These healing centers are what I call off-planet healing centers. Therefore, your etheric body, they are for your astral body. They are for some of your subtle bodies before you incarnate on earth and sometimes even during your life here on earth. Whoa, Does this, is this blowing some people's minds? Probably. How do you know? For some people, it shows up in their dreams. And for other people... You're being sort of clunked out, like where your higher self wants you to just get still, hold steady, go lay down, take a nap. And it's some of the things that I outlined in my previous video, 
low appetite. Like you're required to essentially be a vegetable because some part of you is up for healing. What are some of these things that you're healing? Okay. Patterns, wounds, traumas, the cycles give you the options to heal or repeat. And that is super important because if you're not healing, you're repeating. Heal or repeat. Sometimes people will call it lather, rinse, repeat. Okay, because you go through the cycle again. You're going through the wash cycle. You're going through a cleansing cycle. Some really deep things can take several cycles, nine, 12 cycles, until it's all scraped out. And that's when you have to be proactive. Earth also has lunar cycles. So you have your moon, whoops, moon cycles. Okay. So we're not just talking about solar flares. We are also talking about how are the moon cycles affecting you? They don't just affect women for their menstrual cycle. They affect men for their hormonal cycles now too. Men are not immune. And that's a miscommunication, misinformation out there is like men aren't. I'll tell you where men are at though. They have astrology channels, but they don't, they're not piecing it all together. They may not know they have someone out there who loves them, who's doing other kinds of healing work, and yet there they are feeling the benefits of it. In as much as how you two affect each other negatively, like if your twin gets drunk and hammered, you could feel dizzy, you could feel low energy, you could taste the taste of beer or alcohol in your mouth, you can have headaches, you can have migraines. How would you like to detach yourself from all the icky effects of what your twin is doing and get yourself up and running? Now, one of the things I want to let you know is that as a Blu-ray, I have direct connections here. This is where I am also a healer because Blu-rays are six-dimensional beings by our nature. And we are capable of doing things even in advance of our togetherness, because I personally have gone through several healing processes, all of the cycles and merges. Part of what I'm tasked with, which I'm very humble about, is helping people really affect these really deep psyche healings, the psyche, okay? Now let's talk about Neptune. I'm going to describe uh, this to you. You ever have flying dreams? You probably were on or in Neptune. And it's not Neptune like you see it through the telescope. This is the wild thing is people think like, oh, well, you look through the telescope and these are dead planets. You can't see the fifth dimension through a telescope. You have to see it through your heart eye through your vision system, not your ocular system, your vision system, unless you're building that up, merging it, merging it together with your twin, seeing things through each other's eyes, you're not going to really understand this, but you can experience it. And I'm here to help people with this. So you have to really understand that healing traumas, okay, Here's what happens, okay? This is for things like really bad cataclysmic things that do affect your etheric body. Your etheric body is connected to the physical surface of the body. Do you ever hear of Kundalini? That is the collective love energy that fuels things at the surface level of Earth. That's the name for it. Well, every planet has its own version of that, where we've been, we've created an energy that supports life. That's what you're expected to do when you come back together with your twin, having gotten rid of these traumas and the things that need heal. You can't heal it down at this level. It has to be healed at a higher level than it was created at. It, I'm going to say that one more time. It has to be healed at a higher level than it was created. You can't heal these things at this level. War, battles really terrible things that have happened to people. 
I don't want to trigger YouTube by saying stuff, but it's going to be all kinds of attacks. It's going to be things that have happened to your tribe. And not only that, there is karmic balancing. This is karmic balancing. We don't get balanced. So if I were to best describe this, how is this? These are not like hospitals, these healing centers that we have that are off planet. Even in the next level of Earth, people touch and go so that they can make those footholds in the fifth dimension because Earth is the gateway. We don't do that through lunar cycles. It can happen during solar flare times, but it will happen when someone is proactively elevating and expanding their new life body. That is what I teach. That is my specialty. So what happens? It's kind of like a spa. It's kind of like a practice life. So in my situation, I was having these dreams and the dreams were that I was with my family. Now here's the odd thing. Only a few members of my family were there and I could understand animals and it almost seemed like the animals were talking. We also floated and levitated. We could propel ourselves and we flew and there was gravity. So I would say it's not the same as earth gravity. Earth has a lot of gravity because Earth's gravity helps pull down in a way the negative and dense things off of us and we rise up. This is what we're doing here is we're sending the Earth's, we're literally, you could say, pulling ourselves out of Earth's core and breaking away. But you only break so far. You want to be at that vibrational level that is supportive of your life. So what would happen is, I was dreaming this and then I would come back to wake up here. Here's the kicker. I was having nightmares as I was coming into the miasm of Earth's collective mind. It's, it's kind of creepy because there's a lot of thought forms. Now, this was years ago and that's being collapsed and collapsed and collapsed. If you're listening to thought forms, if you're hearing voices, how do you not know that part of your psyche is still affected by some of these thought forms, some of these mind creations, some of the really grotesque things that people have dreamed up or that they've done or that they've wished because wishful thinking puts it into the fourth dimension. And we are going to the fifth dimension. We go up into it. We are not pulling it down to earth. Everyone's leaving Earth as a couple and going back and forth. And that might sound, I don't know, kind of lonely. You're supposed to do this with your twin and you really won't give a crap if, you know, other people aren't going. If they're not at your speed, if they're not at your vibration, they will do it at the speed. But we have to get some people healed and elevated. So what happens on Chiron, okay? This is, um, this is an area where, you know, learning about emotional, mental wounds, traumas, the effects, working with it in an earth context, this is very helpful. Some of that is mental information. Some of it is as simple as learning a uh, certain technique. So I have a twin flame body practitioner course where I teach people how to open their light body so that they can be healers, so that they can be these true 5D healers. I've had some people describe it as going up into the repair shop. It's a repair shop, but it is more like a spa. Imagine going on an all-inclusive vacation where all you have to do is recuperate, have, you know, sort of spa treatments, gain your energy back, but then you come to Earth. And then you have a few more cycles and you have to wrap up your earth karma. Your earth karma is cosmic karma. Cosmic karma will include things like attacks, battles, poisonings, maiming, all kinds of stuff. And I mean bad stuff. Bad stuff that it would curl your hair if I were to tell you planetary destructions like beyond the scope like we're not just talking an exxon oil spill we're, we're cleaning up the wildlife with dawn detergent okay this is why forgetting is actually forgiving but healing the wounds 
and having people be functional. Those are the next steps. So it's done differently. So imagine if you could go to a war zone and help pick up the people, pick up the walking wounded, the PTSD, all of that. And you bring people on this like all inclusive vacation where things are done for them. That's the net effect that we want, where it makes it an easier, more conducive environment for healing. Now, I pride myself on when we do healings for people, myself, my practitioners, that people have high level experiences. What that means is they're going to a higher vibrational level. Doesn't matter if it's in their dreams. It doesn't matter because it is vividly real. It is lucid and they really feel like they are in a place. This is not, you know, conclusive here. This isn't going to end. This is how it is as we really start scraping the bottom of the barrel for the uh, cosmic karma because it involves xenophobia. It involves immigration. It involves other legal things, marriage, living with people, money situations, housing situations. These are issues worldwide. And if you don't think that we've gone from planet to planet and not had like some xenophobia, people already have it like, ooh, the aliens, right? I'm scared because I've already been through the cycles. And at some point you will see some of that fear, it starts to get proportionate. It's like, you know, it's no longer like way out. It's proportionate and it will feel a bit absurd. You will see that some of the things here on earth repeat and repeat, but they don't touch you. And that is the main thing. When you get healed and you elevate, it's under you, okay? This is why things like solar flares, I'm not trying to say they never affect me. Sure they do. I love to see the Aurora Borealis. I would actually... Um, you know, feel some things, but not to the severity that other people do. And I want to help people with that severe stuff. Okay. I want to help people that feel trapped. And this is my gift. I wouldn't be honoring my gift if I wasn't putting it out there. There's a lot more to this than meets the eye because in your psyche, you have things like paranoia. Oh, jeez. Paranoia, drug use, addictions. How about people that aren't suicidal, but they feel homicidal? Who do they call? They can call a crisis line, but how, what do they do? They sit there and they go, I was so road ragey. I was ready to ram my car into someone. Well, guess what? When someone, when one twin flame feels that and it's flaring up and it's all electric masculine, guess what the other one feels? <sighs> Depressed, depleted, weak, out, out of energy, out of ingenuity, unable to function. We need to bring a balance to this, okay? What about people that feel visceral pains? Pains of the psyche, like phantom pains, phantom pregnancies, phantom uh, limbs that have been cut off. What if it's a feeling and you can't, doctors don't know ascension, psychologists don't know ascension, surgeons don't know it. I saw an article of a man, and this is going to sound wild to people, he was convinced that he had to have his legs cut off. Now that's either karmic balancing and it is also... In other words, it's something that happened to him and it's maybe something he did to other people until it went round and round in karma, back and forth, back and forth. He dished it out. Other people dished it back until that was his normal. And he actually convinced the surgeon to do it. I saw this article and I was like, damn, that's some really deep psyche stuff. What if he had showed up for some healing, for a session, and we could unhook that, unplug it? So that that feeling wasn't there. So that it wasn't necessary to literally lose limbs just to feel like that was his, I don't know, karmic retribution. There's a lot of males that have this sense, which is why they feel doom and gloom and why they feel like they're in trouble. 
there's some sense of some wrongdoing and it does deeply affect the psyche. So we're here to help. Please look at the links below or join my July webinar. It is on Bastille Day. It is on, here I'll put it here, July 14th, 9 a.m. At 9 a.m. via Zoom. If you can't make it, I'm sending you the recordings. We work with the brand new light body and we're already getting amazing results. Check my website for some of the testimonials to hear what people say. So if you're not having a good day, I hope you join us and get better. If you're doing okay and your time is now to level up, come on and level up because I recommend you begin working on your twin flame body before the lion's gate and until because other things just won't cut it other than working on your light body. Okay, thanks everyone. Have a good day. And if you're not doing well, come feel better. Bye.